Hey, hey, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun and you had to scare up those rednecks and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, over here. Got it. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Deacon St. John. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Oh, big spender. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. See ya, Corporal. Corporal, nice to see you. Hey, Sergeant. Still breathing, I see. Okay, very good. Corporal Deacon St. John, you come back real soon. Hey, Deke. That... Uh, hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? 
You mean Lieutenant? See you, Corporal St. John. Move along, buddy, move along. Uh, what was I doing when the world got sick? Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't, like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's... I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, with Corporal no, St. John. No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't entiendo. know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You... <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, 
Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How is your work progressing? Good. Good. With D Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to speak on his status. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beers and ice. Now that you mention it, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I'm, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <sighs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, two 
goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah, I did. And then, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna let him down. So I, I didn't wanna go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring, and that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. Do you know how that turned out? Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. Out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power is still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been 751 days since 
Well, you guys are a little more high tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh my god. What is it? Nothing. It's. What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be. It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. All right. <laughs> what the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and... That was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? <laughs> God 
him, and I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Shit! Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent oh, Fire! Get down. Mother fuck you. were saying? Yeah. Oh, this world is not stopping anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Stay up here. Alert. Do whatever you can. Oh, Got it. I'll signal you when it's clear. Get a clear shot. Will you shoot those goddamn speakers? The voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. It's clear. Clear. Coming. We gotta get up those stairs and through the sky bridge. All right, I'm with you. I got you now. Come on, kill him. Open fire. 
dead. What? Where? Coming. Alert. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the beach. Weapon storage? It looks like Jim was stuck enough. What do we got? Locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security Alert. has been Alert. breached. This the Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out Warning. inner security. Deadly you ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Warning. Hey, Deadly this time, is we go in together. Where'd you come from? It's coming! Alert. Alert. 911 has been Shit. called. Snipers. Police are on their way. Stand in and you will not be harmed. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. Alert. Well, ready? Yeah. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. Level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. It's clear in here. Nothing here. Deadly force is authorized. Clear. Same here. Alert. Alert. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not. 
not be harmed. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the atrium. We're taking this photo. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security person. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Warning. Deadly Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, Press your process. security clearance Warning. has been Deadly revoked. Is Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that Alert. door is Alert. aimed right here. Nine one one has a better been plan. called. Police are on their way. Oh yeah, you got Stand one. Down and you will uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Alert! Alert! This is a level a four legend. alarm. You should be able Multiple to climb up shots have been fired. Security personnel. You mean you should be able to climb down. up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. Deadly force but uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. All What's that? Warning. Deadly force the door's is locked out. Huh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Alert, alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Put your hand on that reader. Alert. Wait, Alert. what are you doing? This is a level yes, four alarm. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot fired. the admin security codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary system. access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Is, uh, is that right? For use against yeah, all let's trespassers. Go. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Here, Stand I'm gonna need you to help you me out. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Ready? Alert. Yep. This is <clears throat> you got it? Alarm. <clears throat> shots yeah. fired. Security personnel to the maintenance hey, building. Hey, don't take any chances. Are you kidding me? These days. Okay, go. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning, deadly force is authorized. Jim Moore! I know you're in there! Answer me, goddammit! Deacon Lee St. John, ID 5429009. Disable voice response. Come on! Shut her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me!
Warning. Scurry. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down. Shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. <laughs> Deadly force is authorized for use against trespassers. I said, hands! All right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. about God this is my fault I, I don't understand your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in I mean we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here and then all of this changed they sealed everything off they took away my clearance God David kept telling me he kept telling me that something was wrong okay okay who's, who's David so David I'm... Gorman he was this research intern you know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system. He got behind the firewall. He told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project. Just he slow wanted, down. And... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman... He exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, 
I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Seth. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. 